Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 29 in this series and is entitled J Frame Form with J Jackbox and J Radio Button. Let's immediately proceed with our activity 55 where we will create a Java project that uses a J Frame Form to contain a J Text field, a J Jackbox, a J Toggle Button, and a J Label. We will allow the user to enter a price value by a JTAX field, check or uncheck the JTAX box, and create an event that when the JTOGGLE button is clicked, the price is processed for a possible 10% discount. We will display the price in the J label. Okay, let's call our new project a discount. Let's right click your package, new. Uh, hope you can see J frame form. Let's call it frame one. Finish. So here we need a text field. Uh, let's edit its text. Let's delete it. And also, let's make it again bigger. Right click. Let's change the variable name to tf1. We need uh, a checkbox. Let's edit the text to 10% discount. And let's also change its name to CBX1. We need a toggle button. Let's edit its text to compute. And let's change its name to BTN1. And the last is, we need a label. Uh, let's edit its text to 0, 0.0. And let's change its name to LBL. OK, so remember the trigger. The event is when you click the button. So let's double click our button. So it's almost the same as in our previous tutorial. Uh, we need we need to get the numeric equivalent of the text in the text field, but because of discounts, we're going to make our number double. Let's call it price is equal to. So to convert a text a string to double, we'll need a double that price double. And we are going to get the text from tf1 that is the control. And the method to do that is get text. Okay, we now have the number. So we should now have a condition. Uh, we have to know if uh, the checkbox has been checked or not. Uh, to know that, we're going to call our control CVX1. And there is a property here called is selected there, which is uh, of type Boolean. Either it's true or false. That's it. If it's checked, it is true. If it's not checked, it will be false. So if it is selected, we're going to change the value of the price to uh, simply the 90% because we're going to less than 10%. So it's the same as price times 0 0.9. And then we have to put the price inside our label one. So we'll change the text label one okay lbl i think dot uh, set text and we'll just put double quote and a price the double quote there is a trick so that we don't have to convert this price anymore to a string okay so let's try to run it let's enter 100 we will now check, compute, it's 100. Let's check, compute, it says 90. Good. To continue with our activity, we will delete the JDoggle button and do the same process after an event using J checkbox. So we will delete the toggle button and the event will now be inside the J checkbox. 
Okay, so now the event is on the checkbox. So first, we're going to copy this code. We'll go back to the design and we will delete this button. And now that the event uh, will be placed in the checkbox, so we have to double click our checkbox. Now look, this is CBX1 action performed. And we'll paste here our code. That's it. Kalas, let's try to run it. The price is 1000 Check it. 900 Don't check it. 1000 For our next activity, we will create another JFrame form in the same project to contain a JText field, two JRadio buttons, and a JLabel. We will allow the user to enter a price value via JText field again, select any of the two JRadio buttons, and create an event to process the price for a possible 10% or 50% discount. We will display the price again in the J label. Okay, let's create another form, another J frame form. Let's call it a discount to finish. So we need again a G text field. Let's edit the text, delete it. Let's make it longer and we will change the name. Let's name it TF1. Uh, we need radio button. Let's uh, edit the text. Let's make it 10% discount. And we will also change its name to radio button 1, RBTN1. We need another radio button. And we will edit its text. It's now 50% discount. And we will also change its name to our BTN1. Sorry, uh, it should be our BTN2. TN2, it's the second radio button. And the last is label. Let's name it to LBL1. Okay. So uh, each of these two radio buttons will have its own set of uh, codes. So let's first double click RBTN1. The idea is the same, so we will almost do the same uh, codes as in our other activity. We'll store in um, P the double value of whatever is inside the app one text and then we will get its 10% discount radio button 1 is for 10% discount so p is equal to p times 0 0.9 and we will display that value in label 1 so we will set the text again we'll start with the double code so that we don't have to convert um, p to string anymore and then p okay Let's go back to the design. This time we'll make the code for uh, the second radio button. We'll simply copy this code, Control C and Control V, but we will change uh, the computation for the new price. It's 50%. As of now, let's try to run it if and see if it's working. So if it's 100 and I click 10%, it's correct. Let's select 50%. Now it's wrong. It's impossible for a radio button to be selected uh, with two values, right? To be selected at the same time. It should be one at a time for any radio any group of radio buttons. So I think it's something is missing here. So let's go back to the design. Uh, one thing that we haven't uh, talked about is this window. This, bo this window is the navigator. You can see here the components or the controls for our JFrame. Right now there are four for the text field, the two radio buttons, and the label. We'll add another a button group. But notice that as we drag it, you cannot see that button group, but there's another component in the other components. The, the, the control button group one is there. So we have to group these two radio buttons so that they will know or the system will know that only one of them must be selected at the same time. 
So let's go back here and add some codes. We need to go to the constructor and the name of that uh, button group is button group one. So let's just use this and then there button group one. And we will add there our two radio buttons one by one. Let's write your button one. And then again, a button group one dot add radio button two. Okay, that's it. Let's try it again. 1,000, 10% discount, correct, 50%, 500, go back to 10%, 900. Okay, so we just finished demonstrating JFrame form with G checkbox and read your button. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.